what we have here is the Breguet Classique Chronometry 7727. And what this is, is a watch I've been dying to get my hands on for about two years, ever since it was introduced in Baselworld 2013. It was introduced in 2013, but really hit the market in 2014. And also in 2014, it won the most prestigious award in fine watchmaking, the Grand Prix of Horology. Now, I was actually on the, the jury of the Grand Prix when we decided to give this award to the 7727. And I have to say that thinking back on that moment, sitting there with, you know, about 20 of my peers that are arguably the most knowledgeable people in watchmaking, there was truly no debate that year who would win the award for the most innovative, most thoughtful, most kind of creative watch of the year. The 7727 is, in my opinion, one of the most interesting watches Breguet has ever come out with, and potentially the most interesting watch to come out of Switzerland, I would say, in the past five years. This watch is really innovative on many different levels. It also happens to be really very traditional looking, in particular for Breguet, and also affordably priced. So I've spent a week with this watch, and I have to say, this is one of the most kind of enjoyable high-end Breguets that you could possibly imagine wearing. And the reason for that is because, like I said, there is true innovation here. We see a 10 hertz beat rate, 10 hertz. So the silicon balance spring pallet fork and escape wheel are flexible, they're anti-magnetic, they weigh less, there's less friction. So that allows this watch to be beating at a much, much higher rate than a traditional watch. But the most interesting part of this watch is certainly the magnetic pivots. And what this means is that traditionally the balance staff is kind of held in place physically. But in this case, we're talking about a balance staff that is essentially suspended in artificial gravity. There are two magnets, they're called rare earth magnets. Imagine you have a balance staff like this positioned vertically. Up here you have one magnet that's a little bit stronger than the magnet at the kind of south pole of the staff that holds it in place. And so if there's a shock of any kind, if it's just normal wear, or if there's a serious shock, like if somebody were to drop the watch, these magnets pull the balance staff and the balance wheel back into line as if there was nothing happening to the watch at all. That really allows the watch to be more resilient to shock, more accurate potentially. And on top of that, you look at the watch and the best part about it is it looks like a Breguet. It's 41 millimeters in diameter. The dial is potentially too ornate for my taste, but still I can respect the fact that they've taken so much time to put so much effort into the dial side of this watch that also has so much effort on the movement side. Six different types of guilloche on the dial alone, engine turn certainly, fluted case band and welded lugs, which are kind of archetypal of Breguet watches, a double secret signature, which are actually not so secret. You can see them quite easily next to the two o'clock and 10 o'clock on the dial. Right here you see what is essentially kind of a take on Breguet's parachute shock absorbing system. This is actually showing you the magnetic pivot on the dial side. You have power reserve here, running seconds, of course, Breguet style hands. This is stop seconds, of course. You know, the, the movement itself is not the most beautiful, I'll say, but it is certainly interesting. You know, you're not talking about deep, deep beveling like you'd see on a very high-end Lange or Patek or, or certainly Dufour or an Independent. You have a very interesting movement. And to see that balance wheel just going crazy on the back of this movement is really very cool. So the, the 7727 is, as I've said, you know, packed full of just, you know, innovative technology from the 10 hertz beat rate, the magnetic pivots, the stop seconds. It is, however, on the wrist, incredibly normal. And I think that speaks to the brilliance of this watch. This is not something that wouldn't fit under a cuff. It fits beautifully under a cuff. It's actually quite thin. It's got a wonderful Breguet double butterfly clasp on it. It is really a very chic, kind of very elegant watch. 41 millimeters is a little large for me, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. And I think 41 millimeters is in fact the size that, that most people would look for in mass today. It is one that I think is going to be considered by modern watchmaking connoisseurs as kind of a cult classic or something of a modern classic because it just offers so much bang for the buck and so much technical innovation in a case that is so incredibly wearable. It's really a very, very interesting watch for a true connoisseur and lover of high-end horology.